What's up, you guys? It has been a minute since I've been on here. I wanted to do this reading. Okay, I'm getting messages right now. Let's start us off with some deep breaths. Okay, if you are returning, welcome back. And thank you guys for your support. Okay, and if you are new, we're going to do another reading here. And I'm just tapping in and basing this off solely on what my intuition is telling me. Affirmation, I understand that everything, that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. I'm getting this energy that someone just got done crying and you're just sitting there and you just feel so exhausted, like exhausted. And you, I'm getting like, you can't tell whether or not you want to go to sleep or you want to stay up and just keep going. I think in having to keep going, this proves to you that you are strong. 111 when I said that. I also had just seen 111 also before I hopped on here. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. I'm getting heart skipped a beat, okay? There are some things here that is coming to light okay and you having to realize this <sighs> heavy emphasis on the, the color purple okay there are a lot of things that you're realizing at this time that is hard to accept and you may be one judging yourself and there's like a little bit of self-sabotaging that comes with this okay you are one sitting with this and questioning yourself but I'm getting that there are some things here that one may not accept at this time and this is probably something that you're experiencing I'm speaking to somebody here when I say this okay let's get some tarot in here you guys what do we have going on for this person this came up for me very strongly, you guys. So I just wanted to document this. You know, collectively, we are on a wait, right? Election, everything is on pause, okay? I'm getting that. We, we are all just patiently waiting, okay? And while we are all patiently waiting, there are some things that we are also having to go deep within, like having to go deep within with. While we are on a way, there are a lot of emotions arising and you having to sit with this and really having to comprehend where you are with it. We are, we are fighting this fire within ourselves, and it's like, it's almost like we don't know what to do with this fire. But what I'm getting here is like we have this tendency for some of us, or we have this tendency to use this fire to be angry, 333, to use this fire to be angry at somebody else. Um, this fire that is sitting in our heart, that is sitting in our chest, you know, and I'm feeling a whole lot of this in my chest, you guys, for a couple of days now, I've been waking up with a heavy heart. And I know for a fact that it's just not, it's not only me, right? It is me too, but it's all of us collectively. And I'm getting that while we are on this weight, you know, we are also being asked to sit with ourselves and to reassess ourselves, 414. Because there are some things that just cannot stay in here anymore and i'm getting like the fire within ourselves it's it's mad it's it's anger it's a lot of like resentment and for some it is anger towards somebody who betrayed you it's anger towards somebody who whom you thought were a friend 444 but betrayed you okay this fire is something that you're fighting. Whatever this looks like for you in your life and however you would like to define that. When I say that you're fighting, 
you know, you're either fighting this and using this as a tool to get to people or using this as um, a way for you to channel and, and to understand, you know, it's either you having to channel this fire and using it to your advantage or using this fire to be destructive to the rest of us and to, to the rest of, to, to you as well. It is a fight between, ooh, it is a fight between you and your higher self collective. Resistance, resistance. Okay, I'm getting the, I'm getting Virgo. I'm getting Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, okay. <clears throat> It is a, a fight between you and your higher self, okay? And this fire that is sitting in our chest, okay? This is coming from a place, either coming from passion, okay? Or this is fire that's all of a sudden igniting all, all all of the sudden igniting okay for some of you it is a fight between you and your higher self right and i feel like that comes with passion i feel like it's wanting to take you to having more passion and to, to tapping into your passions but for some it is fire igniting all of the sudden igniting and you're deciding what you're going to do with it you're deciding whether or not to like use it for good 707 or use it to come after somebody to go after somebody and not in a good way okay 717 it's like going after somebody for no reason it's going after somebody for no reason for no good reason for no purpose right it is rooted in self-hate okay that's what i just heard it is rooted in gain for your own gain you know you having to fight someone else you having to go against go going up against somebody else to fight them because you just can't stand them and then you going up against yourself and your higher self for some this is passion for some this is you having to fight the bad within you and the ugly within you so that you can step in to a new place where you can use that fire for something else to better yourself to I'm hearing to come into commiserating with yourself okay that's powerful it's a very unique message um, we have the number five and the number six that could be very significant for some of you guys I have two number fives and then the number six I feel that this six of wands tells me a whole lot about what one has and have discovered and what one has and have accomplished. The six of wands tells me also that while some of us are choosing to be destructive, the rest of us are pushing through to victory. And I'm hearing that's tough. Because we have come to a place now where the world is changing. And not only what, not only are you changing internally, but the world is also changing. So it's like you having to push yourself through victory. Right? 
I'm getting like you've never felt this before. You you were one to never feel this about yourself and really accomplishing something and knowing that you did this for yourself and that you've earned it. I'm speaking to somebody here when I say this, okay? 10, 10. Exactly, yes. Like for some of you, like you've never known yourself to be, you've never actually experienced yourself to be doing something good for yourself and really earning it for yourself. You know, it's like you having to go from nothing to something. Scarcity to abundance. Depression, excuse me, to victory. Depression, coming from depression to really, really, really knowing that you, you've earned what you've earned because, well, you feel a difference. Your world is changing. Your environment is changing. Your perception is shifting. Eleven, eleven. You have perhaps let go of a lot of things. Okay. You have perhaps have accepted a lot of things as well. Either that's you and a friendship is what I'm getting. Either you accepting accepting something about you or a friend, a former old friend, or even accepting your relationships now, but also having to comprehend yourself in that, in that relationship. Okay, I'm hearing the word awareness. Okay, there, there's a lot of awareness coming through. And then this is where I feel like we're being judged. This is where I feel like we are being tested, okay? And how we are reacting to our hurt, how 1212 when I said that, how we are reacting to our pain that we are feeling that is arising, okay? How we are reacting to people, how we are reacting to um even having to go through the pain of feeling regret and shame, okay, for some of us. This is um, this is us being judged by spirit. This is this is us being judged by spirit, and spirit is going, I'm going to test you and I'm going to watch how you react to certain people and how you react to certain situations I put you in. You say you want victory, but do you deserve it? You know, it's kind of like that. <laughs> you say you want victory, but do you actually deserve it? And does your behavior speak like you do deserve it? 1313, when I said that. One wants victory. But I'm getting that, I'm getting that, does your behavior speak like you do deserve this victory anybody can have that but are they doing it for the right reasons and are they doing it the right way okay not to be harmful and destructive to others but knowing that i did something about this and i know the hard work that came with this okay this is what i'm getting you guys and I'm doing this for the betterment of all, okay? Because perhaps you weren't always the one to feel ease. You grew up in a very chaotic environment. And so knowing that you've done this inner work, knowing that you know you've made it this far and deserving and even being rewarded for this victory, it's like spirit is going, yes, that may be true, but do you actually deserve it? And do you know yourself to be true and have been true to yourself for you to actually deserve this? This is powerful, you guys. We commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And while some of us may have been practicing that, 
for the rest of us, we haven't really been practicing that. And I suppose that this is why you are being judged by your behaviors. You are being judged by your actions and even the way you speak and how you respond to people. I'm getting the word spite, okay. Um, I'm hearing that when one is spewing out spite, that too is being tested, okay? You are also being tested in that moment. You are being judged. And you are being judged because perhaps you have been the one doing the judging. Ooh, I just literally got that right now, you guys. If you don't want to be judged, then don't judge. If you don't want to be judged, then don't judge. Don't do the judging if you don't want to be judged, right? One is not judged by being judged. Am I saying that right? I'm hearing treat people the way you want to be treated. And I feel like for some of us, you haven't been, you have not been treated well. <laughs> You have not been treated well. So you're over here going, I'm going to push through victory. And, and this is what you are sitting with, right? You just got done crying. There are a lot of things in your mind. You're reflecting on a lot of things about yourself. And you're going, I don't know how to comprehend all of this at once. You feel overwhelmed. And you crying probably helped that. That was your way of releasing. That was probably also your way of releasing this and, and harboring things. And in crying through crying, you released a lot of that pain. And so now you're sitting there and you're just like, I'm so exhausted after this cry, this big cry that I just had. I'm so, I'm my heart feels heavy you guys there's so much pressure in my heart right now like we're, we're going to ourselves i'm so overwhelmed i don't know how to comprehend this okay and note you guys that this is raw truth coming to surface for a lot of us for all of us perhaps this is raw truth coming to surface okay for some of us, there are a lot of things that were done to you and a lot of people that mistreated you and this is what's coming to surface, revealing to them and this is what you're also feeling in your heart because as you are also releasing them, they are releasing you and by releasing, there comes this pressure There comes this huge realization of what did I just do? What did I do to this person, right? This is a lot of self-reflection. This is a lot of questions about who you are, who we are truly, like showing our true colors. And I feel like in this season, you know, it started off with, it's, I feel like it started off pretty harsh too. Like all of a sudden, everything just started rising and literally just this fire that's just like dr driving everybody. It, it's driving everybody. However that looks like for you in your life. It's either really driving you and pushing you to do better for yourself or driving you to do the, the opposite and being destructive to yourself because that comes with a lot of guilt and shame. It comes with a lot of, I'm hearing competition with yourself. You having to go up against somebody else that perhaps you shouldn't have went up against. And you're realizing now the truth is revealing to you. You're realizing now that who you were going up against is yourself. 
So it's like realizing that you coming to a stop and you realizing that this was your doing the whole time, right? And I feel like this is where this is where we're being judged, you know, because even if one has done wrong and even if one has made mistakes and we've all made mistakes, you know, it's it's your response to that that is being tested. It is your um, reaction to your own wrongdoing is what is being tested, you know. In this, will you find out who you truly are? But but mostly, excuse me, scratch that. Who, what your intentions were the whole time? There you go. This is going to tell you and is going to reveal to you what your intention was the whole time. And I'm getting here that for some of us, like you've been in competition with yourself thinking that people were in competition with you but you have been in competition with you i feel like this is a lot of raw truth and it's cutting it's it's stinging right this is a lot of raw truth that a lot of us a lot of us are realizing that we may not ha we may not be in acceptance with and not just yet perhaps you are one judging yourself at this time because of what you have done, right? I'm hearing it's not all easy and it's not supposed to be easy because I feel like this comes with a lot of lessons, you know? I was getting messages earlier and I was also shuffling some cards earlier before I did this reading and I was getting that coming out of guilty conscience is not easy. There's a lot of cleansing that comes with that. Coming out of guilty conscience, you know, that's going to either drive you to do more horrible things or it's going to humble you. And a lot of us are, you know, either for some asking for forgiveness and straining yourself out, excuse me, and for some, it's, it's almost hard for you to fathom all of it that you can't even accept yourself. So what do we need? What do we need to do to get ourselves out of this situation Okay, what's the next step here, spirit? Right. And I feel like this is something that we're all doing right now. This is, um, this is simply just being kind to yourself. It, it's, simply, it's simply just being nice to yourself. I'm getting like, you can, you can rest. You can rest now. Like, you can stop now. You, you don't have to fight so much. Um, what I'm getting here with this eight of cups, you guys, like you don't have to fight so much. You don't have to control so much. Just take in what you're able to take in and control what you're able to take in. You don't have to do so much. Like this is a time for you to just quit now. Like just quit, just rest. I'm getting like, what is it that you are fighting for? And who is it you're fighting? Who is it that you're fighting at this time that is making you feel like all over the place. This Eight of Cups is telling us to come back to rest. That you don't have to fight all the time. That you can also have, a, you can also choose to give yourself a break and Success. Success looks different to everybody. Sometimes 
people feel the need to go fast and to take shortcuts just to be successful and to look successful. Success looks different for everybody. For some, it means giving yourself some time to yourself and understanding yourself. That's what success is for some. To others, it may look like you having to take shortcuts and continuing on taking shortcuts so that you can get there faster and like faster than everybody. That you think that by getting there faster than everybody, that that is going to make you successful and it's going to make you feel good about yourself. When in fact, you're doing too much. Success can look different for everybody. And in this world that we live in, of course, self-image is of importance, right? So self-image is like a priority than, than working on our spirituality. Self-image is more important sometimes for some because it means it makes you look good to everybody else, even though you feel like shit inside. But to some, success simply means to just sit with yourself and understanding what's going on inside of you. That's what I'm getting here with this Eight of Cups, is that you don't always have to fight. I'm getting like, know when to fight and know when not to fight. Okay. I'm getting... Um, I feel like that's San Zhu. I, I'm picking. I'm, pick, I, I'm picking that up. I think that's San Zhu. Like you don't always have to fight. Know when to to rest and know when to fight. Okay. I feel like when we push ourselves to fight and just fight and fight and fight, we exhaust ourselves, and then we're deprived of truth. We're deprived of things that are supposed to keep us enlightened. You know what I mean? Like. When we're just out here fighting and fighting and fighting ourselves, fighting people and fighting people, you actually set yourself up to fail first. Like you, 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 we, we, we set ourselves to fail when we do that. So we are being, when we're being asked to rest, rest. When we're being asked to stop, stop. This eight of cups is telling me just walk away. Just, just go, go somewhere where you do yourself a favor. Don't, don't do anybody a favor. Like fuck everybody else at this point. Do, do yourself a favor. Like, put yourself in a in a place where you are comfortable with you. I feel like this is where the people pleasing stops. And I also feel like this is the part where this is where our lessons steps in. And this is where we, it gets really raw because I'm getting that not a lot of us wants to sit with ourselves. Not a lot of us want to sit alone. Not a lot of us like to be alone. And not a lot of us like to sit alone with our emotions and our feelings because it comes with raw truth. But perhaps for some of you, you need to. Because that's your lesson. I also have the Four of Pentacles here. I'm hearing, do yourself a solid. And know where you are with yourself, even if that looks ugly. And understand why that is. But also understand that you too have a choice to choose love. And when you do, you look at yourself in the mirror differently. This Four of Pentacles tells me that even if you see the ugly inside of you, face it. And even if it becomes challenging for you, would you rather look at yourself in the mirror 
and see an ugly person as a monster that you have become? Or would you rather look at it would you rather look at yourself every morning in the mirror and say that person overcame a lot? <laughs> this person faced a lot of challenges, but she overcame, he overcame, he conquered, she conquered. Would you rather look at yourself in the mirror facing a monster? 30, 30 when I said that. Or would you rather face somebody you can trust? Let's get an affirmation, another one here. There's nothing more than one can do. Okay, sometimes there's nothing more than one can do. We can only do so much. And that if we put any more pressure pressure on ourselves, you know, nothing is actually moving and thriving and evolving. And I'm getting that when in doubt, know that you still have your intuition to fall back to. You, you still have um, yourself to work with, okay? I'm going back to, we, we are never running out of options. We always have options. That's what I'm getting. And that through worry, no, nothing actually moves. Through worry and stress, stress, you're blocking yourself even more, okay? I want to get a spirit animal here before we wrap this up. You guys, if you would like a personal reading, all of my information will be in the description box below. And thank you guys for tuning in for another reading. I have not been on here very much. I too have been doing a lot of reflecting. I too have been comprehending and doing all kinds of releasing. Okay, it's been... Since Scorpio season started, it, it's been kind of you are the ancient wise sage. You can shape shift at will. Heavy emphasis on the word shape shift. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with the dignity. Okay, for some of you, this means mastery and destiny. Okay. And then heavy emphasis on the word shape shift. Okay, you are one to also adjust yourself around people. Okay, I feel like I'm talking to an empath here when I say this. You are, you are one to adjust yourself um, around people. Okay, you're you're an empath. You're an intuitive. And when you do this, when you adjust yourself around people, this is giving people the opportunity to express themselves. And, and you do it so well, so gracefully. Um, but you also do it with open arms. You know, very welcoming energy here. This is what I'm getting here. And when you do this, you give people the opportunity, the chance to also express their own gifts. That's beautiful. Three, 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 three. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next. Please take care of yourself. And while we are on this wait for this election, be easy and take it easy. I love you. Love and peace. Bye.